What's up, my crazy square? This is Joking John City 4 here. We're bringing up some Call of Duty Ghost gameplay in the background. Hopefully, you guys enjoy it. And by the way, yes, I do apologize for not uploading for a whole week. The reason why I didn't upload for a whole week is because I was organizing this channel. And by the way, we are a few days away from Black Ops 3, so I did change the new banner. Uh, the new banner is like kind of more simplistic. Also, my thumbnail style is gonna change. Uh, it's gonna be more organized, of course. And the reason why I'm doing all of this is because I want to be more organized. You know, I want to be more clean. I want to be more more of a simplistic uh, more um, you know out there I want to be looking good for those new subs out there so if you're a new sub like being barely subscribed like for a week you know this has been a lot of changes lately so um, you guys missed on them you know just go back into my old videos you might want to see some of the old layouts that I used to have so um, anyways uh, moving on to the main topic of today which is about Call of Duty Ghost uh, one of the main reasons you know why this channel hasn't been taken off lately is because um you know Call of Duty Ghost pretty much set me down and put pretty much set the tone into a very 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 low standard and uh I just couldn't achieve a lot in Call of Duty Ghost so um I'm here to tell you guys the reasons why I never succeeded in Call of Duty Ghost now one of the main reasons has to be uh the spy plane the spy plane there was no spy plane in this game there was only sad comps and I'm like how the hell are you supposed to spot the enemies like most of the time and I know some of you guys can be saying well don't be a noob and put some heads on blah blah you see that's something I don't want to do I don't want to spend more 60 bucks just to get a badass headset and only to hear footsteps because that's what everybody did in this game and that's a big no for me because uh, that's not the way you can find campers man to find campers you gotta have the equipment inside the game to find them campers not outside the game and make me spend more money so um, having the satcom was really a big mistake by the game and uh, the satcoms will easily get destroyed most of the time because the enemy will have set reps so um, that's you know one of the main reasons why I hated this game because there was just no way you can find the enemy ASAP. And another thing that I pretty much hated about this game was the kill streaks. they were not good at all. There was maybe like around 3 or 4 kill streaks that were actually good and the rest of them were just pretty much crap. The IMS, the gun turret, the, uh, the chopper and maybe um, the counter sat was pretty much the, the only ones you might want to use the whole game and that's it. And also the ballistic vest. And that's it, you know, the kill streaks they were not creative at all, it was just too simple and that's something that really killed my mood, like there, there's no, there wasn't enough creativity in this game. Another thing that I hated about this game was the perks, wow man, there was like around 30 perks in this freaking game, they were just too broken down, that was just way too much. One of the main reasons why the perks got too broken down is because of the MLG players and also tournament players, eSport gamers, you name it, all these kinds of players that are pretty much in the pros requested to be this, uh, to, to, for this to happen. Like, I know some of you guys think like, oh it's the devs, it's the devs, actually Call of Duty Ghosts was created by the MLG esports players they were the ones who gave out the ideas you guys gotta learn that that these kinds of players were the ones responsible for Call of Duty Ghosts but they don't want to take the blame so um, that's kind of a wake up call there for you guys not always the pros are going to be giving you guys the right face they're going to actually backstab you most of the time because all they care is about themselves so that's why there was a big debacle with uh, Call of Duty Ghosts well anyways uh, another reason why I hated this game was the maps they were really ugly as hell where are the colors man this was the most dead game i've ever experienced not even modern warfare 3 and modern warfare 3 looks gray as shit and this one looks even more shittier man it's like the color palettes were brown orange and like i don't know it was like halloween style but even worse man like what is going on here add more color to the place man add, add like add more life to it that's i felt like super dead in this game when i was playing it so uh yeah that's another thing about call of duty goes that um you know the color palettes were just fucking horrible the maps were bad um, they didn't have any rhythm the DLC though the DLC was good that's one thing that I like about this game the DLC were pretty good but the way the gameplay was run it's just not it's just a big no for me so um, another thing was that it really just pushed down my YouTube channel that's another thing I just couldn't compete in the game and my YouTube channel just went to shit after this. So Call of Duty Ghosts really killed my channel at some point because uh, at Black Ops 3, you know, I raised my channel from um, like 300 subs to a thousand, I believe, or 900. I think it was 600 or 900 somewhere around there. But um, it was a great improvement from Black Ops, from uh, Modern Warfare 3 to Black Ops 2. And then come to Call of Duty, Call of Duty Ghosts, there was just really not a lot to do, and uh, my channel just dropped from there. So. Um, yeah, that's another th reason why I hate Call of Duty Ghost. So that's it guys, those were my reasons. If you guys understand, if you guys don't, make sure you leave a like on the video and also leave a question in the comment section. So I'll see you guys later and subscribe for more Call of Duty.